Uh, welcome back to my daily chat of briefing. I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, it's been half a year already. Uh, so if I, if you happen to check my Instagram stories, you would know that uh, my colleague and I, who have returned from Japan after our work meeting, uh, missed half a day of our first day of the session. Uh, our morning flight couldn't land in Delhi. I mean, couldn't land in Kangra due to horrible weather. We had to fly back to Delhi, but somehow we managed to come to Dharamsala and walk in for the afternoon session of today. Uh, however, of course, I'll write, I would uh, brief you on the entire day. Uh, so let's get straight to our business. Um, Chaired by Honourable Speaker Kembo Stam Tempela, the first day of the 17th Tibetan Parliament in Exile's uh, sixth session convened at 9.30. You know the timing by now. Uh, so the sixth session um, is a uh, general session. Um, uh, it began as uh, customary since uh, 2008 with a seven-point official resolution on solidarity with the Tibetans inside Tibet. So that's uh, um, in the uh, session commencement address, Pandit uh, uh briefed the House on the undertakings of the Tibetan parliament, um, including our annual visitation programs to the Tibetan settlements and to various bodies and sections, uh, like you saw last time with my visit. Also about Tibetan Parliament's strategic meetings and then Tibet Parliament's uh, Tibet advocacy campaign in various states of India, like we've already seen, I think so, and many more matters he covered. So beyond an effort in preservation of Tibet's distinct culture, religion and language, uh, Pandit Solstho emphasized on the expansion of Tibet advocacy in regards to the political status of the Tibetans in occupied Tibet. Uh, growing suppression and human rights violation and the status of Tibetan government in exile to the wider uh, global audiences uh, on leadership and uh, civil community level. Um, uh, Pan Sosho provided uh, updates on the working of the Rules and Regulation Review Committee, uh, that's Chitim uh, uh, which was uh, formed in accordance with the resolution adopted on the last session. Um, so the committee would submit their review to report to the parliamentary secretariat by end of February next year. Um, he also informed Tezo of the formation of the 12th Public Accounts Committee, that's Mountu Sita Sokchung, in the session. Uh, and finally, um, Pandit Sokcho concluded his address by calling out for unity and a cohesive action amongst Tibetans in resolving uh, China-Tibet conflict. Um, Hereafter, as per the rules and procedure and conduct of business of the Tibetan Parliament in exile, uh, a panel of chairpersons and a talk uh, committee were appointed and announced in Tuzo. Um So a good number of, a fair number of Chitu uh, so far deliberated actively on the aforementioned resolution, raising matters concerning the history of Tibet, uh, growing human rights violation in occupied Tibet, um, various forms of uh, repressive policies under Xi Jinping, um, uh, responsibilities of Tibetans around the world and need of an inclusive voice on various political voices like um, Rangzin, uh, uh, which should be represented in this exile, democratic and uh, movement-based uh, community. Uh, so the uh, deliberation um, on the resolution uh, will continue tomorrow. Um, apart from uh, the uh, departmental report submission by Kasha, uh, followed by uh, resolutions uh, and deliberations. Uh, so the first day of the sixth session of the 17th Tibetan Parliament was adjourned at 5 p.m. until uh, 9.30 tomorrow morning. Um, so this is it for today. Uh, 
I would uh, still like to recommend to you to check uh, Tibet TV and uh, listen to some of the deliberation exchange that has happened in Tuzo, uh, which would certainly benefit you in understanding and getting a clear um, picture of the discussions that are involved while we are talking about uh, the um, solidarity uh, with Tibetans inside Tibet or any deliberations or discussions that follows um, um, after um, uh, the departmental um, presentation. So um, all I could say is um, you must try to at least uh, listen to uh, and watch the Tezo a discussion that happens. It's important that uh, people are updated with the discussions that your elected leadership uh, uh, brings about on the table and how uh, Kasha is able to address or what sort of work it's been able to commit itself to, uh, what sort of future plannings it has uh, when it comes to Tibet, uh, resolving Tibet issue or even uh, the uh, departmental work or the settlements or the schools, monasteries. So what has Kasha uh, gotten hold for all of us? Uh, so yeah, this is all I want to say. Um, do try and go back and watch Trezor, uh and continue to do that. It's a uh, thing of it. It's just uh, nine days. Um, uh, actually, just 20 days in the entire year. So I think you can commit yourself to it. It's certainly not going to be easy. It could possibly get boring for many youngsters considering all the uh, political terms that we are using but then I'm sure that once you continue to listen to it you'll get a hang of it and uh, uh, you might be able to do a better uh, job in performing your responsibility in bringing about check and balance uh, with your elected leadership in parliament and uh, the executive body. Uh, this is it for today. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow for the uh, daily briefings. Let's say, just later.